the video I'm showing you right now is a video uh, of uh, the experience for battery swapping versus that one of uh, going the normal route of going to charge your car. Now the swapping or the battery swapping experience, this one never changes because once you get next to a new battery swapping station, the cars autonomously drive e itself in the uh, battery swapping station without you coming out of the car, leaving the car, which this process as a whole obviously it's just experience or good experience it's, it's just experience it gives you the convenient that one will need as they're driving a car right i mean the reason why or primary reason why people buy cars it's uh, obviously they want to move from point a to point b but also they want some a car that is quite convenient to them and what better car brand <laughs> to buy than buying a new car which and subscribe to Buzz and get this kind of an experience because on that video you will notice that there was a pointing time on the chargers or when the guy was charging his EV car it was raining and he had to go out with the child and all that as they're charging as seen on that video which this again shows us the massive convenience that gets to be uh, brought by the battery swapping station that Neo has been deploying since 2018. I am very happy uh, or this as an investor it gives me reliefs and confidence to say that neo indeed in the near future it will do very very well i know battery shopping stations for now it's not yet profitable onto neo but very soon i'm quite certain that next year this technology will be at a break even under neo power because their chargers or neo charging infrastructure it's already profitable the only thing that is not profitable under neo power is the battery shopping stations which like I'm saying, I think next year this time we will be sitting with pro profitability or at a, with a break even of from the battery swapping station. So yeah, man, I am happy and this again shows us the massive convenience that is just out there for the world to see. Battery swapping station is not only recognized in China but worldwide they are talking about battery swapping stations. We are talking about uh, the recent uh, Fiat 500 and the uh, battery swapping uh, and uh, one of the companies in Europe that are, that is deploying battery swapping which their battery swapping stations are able to complete a battery swapping on a Fiat 500 by what five minutes which is faster than any charger that is out there in the market but with Neo what I said is that look Neo is king and Neo is already 10 years ahead as the Neo CEO will say in terms of technology of battery swapping which is something that is just so great. This is what gives Neo a competitive advantage because when you see people struggling like this, when it's raining, when it's too hot outside, the Neo users who have subscribed to Buzz enjoy the battery as a service that Neo has been offering for almost a decade now, which I believe that indeed it is a game changer for Neo. So tell me what you think about this, man. I'll also play the video again for you at the end of this video because, man, one thing that makes me to invest into NEO is for a fact that obviously they are able to uh, separate themselves from the other EV users by deploying this technology called battery swapping. So I am just so excited about this. I know of course, I'm, and I'm not talking bad about that guy, I, mean, I, I, I was a bit touched by that video but at the same time it was what made me to do this video is because of the technology, the convenient that you get when you subscribe to Buzz, the convenient that comes when you buy uh, the Neo battery without uh, the Neo car without a battery, which gives you this opportunity of receiving some massive convenient as you are driving the Neo car, which is something that is just so amazing. So tell me what you think, man. Blue sky is coming, long term will win. Those that are persevering throughout the headwinds, the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time it takes me some time to make these videos and all i ask from you is to give it a thumbs up so that at least you can be notified by youtube every time i drop a new content battery shopping stations remain that technology that it will forever make neo to be the most preferred ev company in china the only thing that has not been making neo to sell that much is because number one their cars are quite pricey but previous video we're discussing also in terms of performance when you look into the pure electric vehicle cars um, uh, with NEO over 300,000 RMB you will notice that NEO is dominating the market so well in a way that obviously it shows you that it's not just 
it's not about the matter of uh, Neo Sid not selling that well. The, 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 the biggest thing is that Neo main brand models are not for the mass market. They cannot just be afforded by anyone and therefore this will forever make them not to, of course, not sell like your other new energy vehicle car market car makers that makes or that build cars for the mass market but thank god we've got firefly right thank god we've got onvo right these two sub brands are going to help neo win at the end of the day and they will get to sell so well and maybe even catch or surpass those big names that are doing the most into china that are deploying the mass market brands i mean tesla model 3 tesla model y those are market ma mass market brands and Neo, at some point in some cities, in some regions in China, we have seen them selling so well, more than those models, which with time it will continue to be like that and we we'll continue seeing Neo doing exceptional well. Yeah man, I am happy, I am excited. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that at least you get notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content. It takes me some time to make these videos and all I ask from you is to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one, my dear friends. That is all from me and God bless you all.